Ni Sabolavanaka, Talofa, Nihao, Shelly Cullen, tuning in from New Auckland, New Zealand. How is everyone? Just going to do a our first session of our crypto for kindies, <laughs> crypto for kohangas. Um, it's a, a good place to learn uh, the basics of crypto. So I intend to do uh, quite a few of these uh, liveies. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be adding my liveies uh, to my YouTube channel. So you can also find me on YouTube, tube, just type in Shelly Cullen and um, my tutorial should be up there too. So I'm only going to try and keep this to 30 minutes, try and keep it to 30 minutes. Um, the topics we're going to cover in this session is where to buy crypto, oh, sorry, where to buy Bitcoin, because you really need Bitcoin before you start buying any other cryptos. Um, and I've got the website there uh, where you guys can, you know, open up an account. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's it's, it's a perfect place um, to buy crypto uh, for our newbies out there, especially uh, those that are just really scared doing transactions on the line. Uh, sorry, online. So you can go to www.easybycrypto.com, create you by yourselves an account and then you know verify it through your email and then you can log in and buy your crypto so how that uh, website works is uh, number one you just select you know there's a video there also you can be internationally and buy your cryptocurrency there your bitcoin um and all you do is you just watch the video it's only one minute long and you you know put in whatever amount of bitcoin you want to buy um, you've got to put in the USD dollar. So can somebody type in xe.com, www.xe.com. It's a good place um, to download the app to your guys' phone, XE. Um, I'll also put that uh, inside this uh, livey content when I've finished the livey itself. So, uh, yeah, and, and basically you just enter in how much you want to buy and then you select um, a country to buy from, and I've, I've got that all in the video for international buyers. And then you can like uh, download a form and take it to your bank, or take it, you know, or you can also get an email to you and take the details to your guys' bank, and the bank can uh, wire it across. Or if you've got a transferwise.com account, I'll also put a link in this live after I've finished. Um, it's actually better and cheaper to use a TransferWise account. Anyway, let's get into this. So I've covered where to buy crypto. So go to www.easybuycrypto.com. Fantastic for our baby boomers, our newbies, those that are just starting out, those that are scared. You know, um, yeah, it's just an easier way to buy your, your, your Bitcoin. Uh, our next topic is CoinMarketCap. So CoinMarketCap, uh, can someone put www.coinmarketcap? Dot com uh, down in the comment section please coin market cap is a website where everyone that's involved with crypto goes to so we're going to look at coin market cap can you guys hear me i hope so put it in the comment section actually i can see some new comments coming in you guys must be able to hear me um it's Facebook for you, eh? You can't see your comments these days when we do our liveies. Uh, can you guys just tell me if you can hear me? I don't want to talk for half an hour <laughs> for nothing. I can see new comments, but I'm... Yes, okay, cool, cool. All right, all right. Let's head on over to CoinMarketCap. So I'm going to talk about the markets. Uh, I'm going to just go to the front page and I would also um, advise you guys you know recommend to download the coin market cap uh, app and I I check that on the daily especially in the mornings all right so this is the website here and on this website I think they have just over 2,000 cryptocurrencies um, listed so all the currencies you see on this website are actually listed with other exchanges out there and that's the only way you can get on coin market cap um, I'm just waiting for some details at the top to display now you guys can't see this but the market cap I'll try and make my 
computer a little bit bigger. The market cap is, I don't know if it'll let me, we'll see. Uh, 192 billion, 962 million, and that's how big the market cap is, and that's pretty much how much, oh shit, that's too big, <laughs> anyway, there you go, you can see it now, that's pretty much how, how much has been traded um, through all the exchanges, so it's a big, big, big massive amount okay so the 24 hour volume that's been traded this is at the top is uh 59 billion dollars so cryptocurrency bitcoin is for real there's real money getting um transacted it's getting turned into bitcoins and it's going up on all the exchanges to get traded out there so there's a lot of guys that don't believe in bitcoin and think bitcoin's a scam um just direct them to coin market cap <laughs> okay so i'm going to just go down the page i might leave my screen big like that. all right oh no i'll have to take it down that's too big 200 oh yeah i think i'll leave it at this one this one here so if you're ever looking at um, buying coins, I would look at definitely the top 100. And um, so you can see the market cap, $128 billion has been transacted in Bitcoin. Um, the price of Bitcoin at the moment is just over 7,000. Uh, you can see how volatile it's been. It was 10,000 just in September. Now it's dropped by 3K. Um, speculation is it's going to go all the way down to six thousand dollars the amount that's been traded for bitcoin is 17 million a billion sorry 17 billion dollars okay that's the volume so that's how you can tell how much a liquidity is in this um in bitcoin so this that's, that's a lot of money <laughs> A lot of money so if you got the coin you've got no trouble selling it that's for sure because there's 17 billion dollars that was just traded in the last 24 hours um you'll see the circulating supply so uh, with bitcoin there's been 18 uh 18 million 103,000 released uh there's only going to be 21 million bitcoins um all up so it's running out and hence the reason why you guys see the price is going to go up 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 and up so I think we've only got eight or nine to twenty three million um three million to do, and that's it. Bitcoin's gonna become really, really, really scarce. You can also uh hang on, I'm just gonna like close all this. I'm gonna find my bar. I think it's because it's too big. No, I won't make it. You can also see the change whether it's gone up and down. So you wanna buy when you, if you're buying any cryptocurrencies out there, you definitely wanna buy when everything is in the red. Okay, you don't want to buy when the coin is in the, um, the green. All right, so red is good. Red means go shopping, go shopping. And the other reason why I'm recommending to go to easybuycrypto.com and create an account, I'm going to actually teach you guys how to trade inside that portal. So you're opening up your own account. You'll have your own portal. You'll be able to buy Bitcoin from it. You'll also be able to cash your Bitcoin out into your bank accounts. And you'll also be able to trade up on uh, the website coming first quarter of um, 2020. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I would open an account ASAP. Uh, if you want to know at the present where to buy a certain coin, so let's look at Ripple. I like Ripple. I've always liked Ripple because it's involved in the banking industry. So just, um, you know, whatever coin you're interested in, but we're going to use Ripple in today's example, which is XRP. Sorry, guys, I'm used to the um, abbreviations. Um, each coin will have their own abbreviations. So Bitcoin is BTC. Ethereum is ETH. Ripple is XRP. U uh, Tether is USD Tether. US, oh, sorry, USDT. So let's click into Ripple. And you can see Ripple is has gone down. It's 21 cents per coin. 
Uh, you can also see um, that's equivalent to 3,025 Satoshis. So for those that don't know what Satoshis are, I should have just left it. <laughs> I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see this. My handy dandy um, notepad. I'm going to use 24. Oh, 26. Okay. So with um, when you're dealing with dollars, it's actually sorry, bringing it back up. You're dealing with dollars. You have one dollar and fifty nine cents. Yeah. With Bitcoin, this is how it's written. One Bitcoin will look like this. One point one two three four five six seven eight. There's going to be eight decimal places. All right. So if I add a one here, and this, so up here we've got dollars and we've got cents. Over here we've got one whole Bitcoin and these are called Satoshis, right? So I'm going to just type in Satoshis and, or we might call them Sats. So if you ever see me on Facebook and I say, hey, go and buy this, it's only so many Sats, then you understand what I'm talking about. So let's look at, this one will go 0 0.0000005. So what this means is this is five Satoshis, okay? Because there's no Bitcoins, it's five Satoshis. So five sets. If we do this one, and I want you to tell me in the comment section how many Satoshis is this in the comment section. I also want you to tell me how many Satoshis is this. Oops, that's too much. I'll just leave those two. I'm going to like close this soon. So I put in the comment section just to see if you guys are understanding. I'll come back and have a quick look. So we've got, yeah, this one. And then we've got this one. All right, just going to quickly see if someone's answered. Okay. All right, thank you guys. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. I can only see Miliani's answer, so I'll bring that up now. So Miliana is correct. Miliani, sorry. So that's 1789. Sets and then what's the last one? Just see if anyone's got the last one. 338,976. 338,976. Cool. So when I'm going through these coins, I want you to tell me how many sets it is. All right, you guys, got that? Understand? Cool, because in this game we we always talk satoshis, eh? We always talk sats, especially the traders. Okay, we're going to go back to Coin Market Cap. So, so you can see Ripple is put down the Ripple sats. How many sats is Ripple? Uh, what you want to, and I'll show you guys what to look for, eh? I'll show you guys what to look for. I just want to make sure you understand um, satoshis. All right, and the reason for that is you want the, the the smaller the satoshi, the more gain you can get if that coin is going to be a winner, coin or token. Okay, the cheaper the satoshi. So here's Ripple. Ripple has done a volume of one billion dollars, one billion dollars, guys. So um, to find out where you can buy Ripple, you would go down to Markets, Market Peers, and then click on Reported Volume. So can someone put Market Peers slash Reported Volume in the comment section? All right, because we want to know where can we buy the coin that we're interested in. And, and what I would also do, guys, is, you know, go and do some homework, go and look on YouTube, go and see what that coin's being used for, you know, um, find out more information. And at 21 cents, that's cheap. Um, 
Back in 2017-18, Ripple went up to $2. $2. So if, if it goes up to $2, I'm sure it will, once we start booming in the um, cryptocurrency market, then you're going to... 10x your money, 10 times your money. So if you put in a thousand bucks, you'll make, you know, you'll have around 10k worth. That's that's just the crypto world. But in saying that, guys, um, never put anything into crypto if you can't, you know, if you can't afford to lose it. Don't cry over it. If you start being a sucky bubba over crypto, don't play the game, guys. So I'll go back to that site. Oh, I think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. And this is um, a live, you guys. So you guys can see by reported volume. You guys will see. Um, you guys can catch up. Hash, hashtag replay if you're watching the replay of this, please, guys. And um, the more comments I get on my livey, um, the more reach I get out there on social media. Much appreciated. Oh, we're out. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Is it my computer? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, that took ages. So this is the XRP, the Ripple, Ripple Market. So you can buy on these sites here, open up an account. Each site is different. Uh, what we see here is um, Ripple can be exchanged for USD Tether. You want to look for Bitcoin, BTC. So over at LA Token, you can get Ripple, you know, buy it with Bitcoin. Um, I haven't actually tried a lot of these sites. Wow, I'm really surprised that Binance. So Binance is not Binance. Is, I use Binance. <laughs> so a lot of trading is happening with USD Tether, and the reason for that, guys, is a lot of people have hedged their Bitcoin, meaning they've sold out their Bitcoin and they've put it into USD Tether because the price has been dropping. And they want to, you know, keep it safe. And then once the price of Bitcoin starts going up, they'll put it all back into Bitcoin. Hence the reason there's a lot of pairs with USD Tether in it, USDT. Don't use Coin Tiger. They are a headache to get your money out, your crypto out. Here we go. Here's Binance. Binance has got XRP, BTC as pairs, right? But at the same time, if you create an account with EasyBuyCrypto.com. You'll be able to trade inside the back office there, and I'll teach you guys how to do that. It's like a, it's like a one-stop place. So that's how you find out um, where to buy the cryptocurrency. So I always go look here if it's a new one. And it's easy to, to get USD Tether with your Bitcoin anyway because you can just go and buy USD Tether, or you can swap it. But that's another session. If we look at the volume, that's 73 million that's been traded for Ripple. Now, let's look, check this out. 73 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is the amount of fees um, HCoin makes, all right? And this is just in the last 24 hours. If we times, no, you times that by point, let's say they're making 5% on their fees. They've, they've just turned over three million dollars, six hundred and fifty thousand, just in fees, just in fees, and that's why I'm a broker. <laughs> just in fees in twenty four hours, and that's just for this coin. You can imagine they'll have hundreds of coins listed on the exchanges, so it gives you an idea if you want to like look at becoming a broker, what the potential is with um, collecting fees. All right, so put it in the uh, comment section. Did you understand that? So you guys understand how to find exchanges? Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, you are getting good with your Satoshis. I'll just do one more. Uh, let's go back to the front page. And make it cap. Um, here's another one. Here's another one. Uh, this is another way I find coins, and when I find them, I call them dark horses. 
So we go to, oh my gosh, hang on, I'm getting thirsty. Where's the rest of the menu? This is just weird. That can disappear. Oh, here. There's a settings over here, three lines. Uh, you go there. Go rankings. So can someone type settings slash rankings slash recently added? Okay. So settings slash rankings recently added. So I like to look at a lot of new coins that are coming out on the market. And I just start doing a bit of research about it. So the first thing I look, the first thing I look at is um, I look at the volume. Okay, so this one is it's done nine hundred and sixty thousand in the last twenty four hours. Um, it's called medium, and it's selling at eighty eight cents. All right. This one, wow, Q Cash, wow, that's done 361 million. So that's telling me a lot of people are buying this coin, right? Um, wow, that's 310. Okay, so that's selling at 14 cents, 14 cents. And again, you can click on the coin. And how many Satoshis is this? How many Satoshis? There's your Satoshis here. Always use the BTC. Quantum. Q Cash. Looking good. Um, I will look at, oh, it's been an up and down journey. Started at 14 cents. It fell to, oh, yeah, not much. Still hovering around 40 cents. 14 cents. It's okay. We'll go over charts in another livey. So market pairs by reported volume and then it'll tell you a little bit about oh gosh i like that yeah it's going to tell you a little bit about what the coin is all about and you can get it at zb.com wow zb.com zb 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 must be an asian site and these are just all the different pairs they're trading in they're bound to have um, Bitcoin. Oh, you can go pay with your Neos. I like Neo. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, and you can go and buy some QC over there. So I'm thinking if this is going to be a... Oh, no, I've been not coming because I haven't done the homework. All right. So how many Satoshis again before I go back? All right, I'm going back. But that's a heck of a lot of trading going on. No, go back again. It's already ranked at 222. It's only been released how many days ago? Four days ago. Okay, if we look at it again. Two cash. Four days ago. Wow. Oh, it just took me back to the front page. All right, guys, so that's another way, well, a lot of ways I always go after the new coins. Because as I said, um, I've actually bought rankings uh, recently added. I actually bought CKB from the recently added list. I don't, well, I don't know if they're still here. Um, I'm just going to have a look. Troy um, is not even one cent. But it's done three million dollars with the trading of nearly four million. Burma chain, where did that come from? <laughs> Gonna look at that definitely. And that's only eight cents. You know, these guys could go up to a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. You don't know. Uh, oh, one of CKB's listed. I can't see it. CKB, CKB, CKB. Oh, there it is. Never sit with. So CKB, let's go and have a look into this one. It's been trading between three to four, five million dollars a day. And this is what I look for: is the satoshis. How many satoshis is 
Um, CKB. How many sets? So, um, moving over to action. So, if you put it this way, let's say it went up to two cents, you'd double your money. If it went up to four cents, you're four x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you put a hundred bucks in, it'll turn into two hundred once it gets to two cents because it's nearly one cent. I'm just saying, yeah. And I had to go and buy this up on Huabi Global. How, how, how am I going for time? Oh, heck, I've got to hurry up and finish. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to keep these sessions to 30 minutes. I know you guys can sit there all day with me, so could I. <laughs> um, and there's the, this, I don't know, the description didn't come up, now it's gone. But, um, yeah, I brought mine here, Huabi Global. Go, stay away from Coin Tiger. It took me five days to get my Bitcoin out. Never, ever again. That was a hassle. All right, what else have I got on the list? Okay, what coins not to buy? Don't buy any coins that there's no utility for. So if there's no usage for that coin, don't buy it. All right, not they don't necessarily have to be listed up on Coin Market Cap, but if you know, get into coins or tokens that have some kind of utility. You know, you, you need to use it. You need to find a way how how am I going to use this coin? How am I going to use this token? All right. So make sure, yeah, you look, you're shopping around. Just because a coin might be worth this much, it means jack. Um, stay away from coins where the only way you can cash out is to sell it to another person. Because that, that coin's got new, no utility. Why would you want to buy it? What can you do with it? You know, um, I've been doing cryptocurrencies since 2015, got serious 2016. But knew about Bitcoin and also played with Bitcoin back in 2010, 2011. So I haven't just come into the space like there's a lot of people that have just popped up into the space and they think they know everything about cryptocurrency. I haven't, you know, I've been in it for a while. I've um, had the ups and downs in cryptocurrency. I've been through all that. The crash that happened in 2018. Oh, yeah, cool. Yep, awesome sets, eh? Guys are getting the picture. Uh, I've been pretty much teaching it for the last three years, and my Facebook tells it all. It's not stuff I just make up. <laughs> so yeah, if you're if the coin you're getting into has no utility, like I'm gonna talk about TBC for in, in, you know, instance. There's nowhere you can take TBC. You can't put it in a Mastercard. Um, you can't change it into Bitcoin. You can't shop with it. The only way you can get rid of it is you've got to go and sell it to somebody else. Why would you buy something that you can't even, it's like selling a vacuum cleaner without the power cord. You know, that's what I mean. So make sure the coin you're getting into has utility. If the cash out system is all about selling to another person, you're just giving another person another headache because then they have to, in order for them to make money, they got to sell it to another person. All right, so yeah, not not really cool, um, but at least you guys have heard it here on this live. Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna quickly shoot through this talk. Hey, I'm keeping to my time. Um, I can do this in one minute. <laughs> Fudge um, is a slang term uh, we use in cryptocurrency, and I will be talking to you guys about other other slang words in a lot of my sessions i'll have a slang word every session i do uh fud is about fear of missing out you can have a lot of people fudding fudding is being negative it's being negative about that coin and every single coin has fud every single coin has haters all the way up to bitcoin okay guys so keep that in mind um people will fud and that they'll only try and you know freak you out so you're going to get rid of your coins you know that's what they want they want you to dump your coins so the coin price goes down and then they can go in and buy more coins and there's a lot of fun happening with uh, bitcoin at the moment yeah, but you know that's all about fear of missing out oh no it's not fear of missing out that's my fomo sorry it's 
fear, uncertainty, and doubt. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So you, if you start doubting stuff, don't even play the crypto game. You know, um, you got to be tough. Not every coin is going to be a winner. Not every token is going to be a winner. But what I will say is diversify your guys' portfolio. So let's say you've collected 50 different you know, cones, cryptocurrency, coins, cryptocurrency, tokens, you've got 50 chances, at least one or two of them being a winner. You know, put it that way. And you can build up your portfolios over time. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this session. I'm trying to keep my sessions to 30 minutes. Please do me a favor. Share this out to anyone who, uh, you know, put on your timeline, share it to your timeline because you don't know who's looking at your timeline. And it could be one of your family, your friends that are interested on how to get into Bitcoin and want to go through my sessions too. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. I hope you guys got a bit of value out of this um, livey, and I'll see you guys on the next one, which will be later on in the week. Over and out.